Hi guys, this is Jules and you are watching Tech in the City. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do consider subscribing and kindly hit the bell notification icon so that you will be informed each and every time I upload a new video. In this video, I'm going to teach you how you can send and receive SMS on your iPad if you have an Android device. I know you can send and receive SMS on your iPad if you have an iPhone, but if you have an Android device, it's not always straightforward, but it is possible. All you need to do is first make sure that you have the Messages app by Google installed on your Android device. So go to Google Play as I am demonstrating here. Then search for Messages and you will see Messages by Google LLC. You need to make sure that the Messages app is installed on your Android device, okay? It needs to be on your Android device, not on your iPad because it's not compatible. But anyway, just make sure that it's already installed on your device. Just set it up. Once it is set up, you can just open any web browser on your iPad. It doesn't have to be Safari, you can also use Chrome, it really doesn't matter. Just go to messages.google.com and you will see this screen. And on this screen, you can see that there's a huge QR code. Okay, this screen will be used for you to synchronize your iPad with your Android device. So now on your Android device, you need to open the Messages app that you already installed. And on the upper right of your screen, you will see that there are three dots. So go ahead and click on that. Then drop down and look for Messages for Web. Once you click on Messages for Web, it's going to launch the camera on your phone and you need to scan the QR code that is on the iPad. It's very quick, it's very easy, so I'll demonstrate it right now. I'm gonna click on Messages for Web. Then it says QR code scanner. I also need to click on that. Okay, so now the camera app has launched. I need to move my device over the iPad and quickly scan the QR code. This is going to be very quick, so let's see how it goes. See, just split second. And already, as you can see on your iPad, it's already switch and synchronized with the Messages app that's on your Android device. So it says here, remember this computer, just click yes, so you don't have to go through the process or sign in each and every time you need to use this application. So that's the messages for a web app on the iPad. It's very easy, it's very quick, and it really helps you to focus on the tasks that you need to do on the iPad. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, please give me a like, and if you haven't done so, please consider subscribing. Thank you very much, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.